U Dairy Creamery. My name's Liz and I'm going to be your guide to show you how the U Dairy Creamery operates from the cow to the cone. Let's go on in. The U Dairy Creamery was established in 2008 as a nonprofit entity within the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Delaware to help subsidize the teaching programs and costs of the college's long-standing dairy farm. The U Dairy Farm is home to a herd of approximately 100 Holstein dairy cows. Usually, 70 to 90 cows are being milked at a time, while the other 10 to 30 are dry, which means they are not producing milk and waiting to have another calf. A milking cow can produce up to 120 pounds of milk per day. That's almost 14 gallons. A cow can only produce milk for about 305 days after having a calf. 16 cows at a time are milked twice a day right here on campus at our very own milking parlor. Our farm produces most of the food that the milking cows consume. The cows graze on a grass pasture when the weather allows for it. However, they can't eat grass if it's covered in snow. And did you know cows hate being out in the rain? They are also fed silage, a blend of fermented grass and corn plants, which is also grown and produced here, with a small amount of supplemental grain. We're averaging like 85 pounds a day. A gallon of milk is 8.6, so we're averaging almost 10 gallons a day. We milk them twice a day. But that's the average. We've got some cows that are giving 100. 30, 140 a day. So they'll give like 80 in the morning, 60 at night. In the basement, we got uh, electronic milk meters. So it's, it's measuring the milk in pounds. See, when, when the, the cows come in, they have this collar around their neck. That transponder identifies them to the computer, and then it'll red record the milk weight as she's milking. And then when it comes off, it'll put her milk weight in the computer, and then we can keep a running total of each cow production. We do a lot of nutrition research projects, comparing different cow feeds, so then we can determine if what we're researching works or not, depending on if it increases milk production. That's why we have a lot. We put all this electronic equipment in here. Efforts towards the creation of the U Dairy Creamery began in the summer of 2008 with the formation of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources Creamery Committee, consisting of faculty, students, and staff. That fall, four Canner students and Dr. Carl Tonsmeyer worked together in the Department of Food and Resource Economics to develop a strategic plan for the creamery. Ice cream distribution and sales began in the fall of 2008 when milk from our dairy cows was shipped to Kilby Cream in Maryland and turned into ice cream. The ice cream was shipped back to campus and sold at various events, including basketball games. In the winter of 2009, we began to collaborate with High Point Dairy in Wilmington, Delaware, owned by UD alumnus Jay Meany. In 2010, the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources received a Unidel grant for half the cost of building the creamery. The rest of the cost was provided by private donations. The college broke ground for the creamery in November of 2010 and opened on Ag Day in April 2011. Shortly after, we began producing ice cream in-house with the assistance of High Point Dairy. High Point currently ships the milk from our farm to Cumberland Farms in Cumberland, New Jersey to be made into ice cream base. Our base contains milk, cream, sugar, stabilizers, and emulsifiers. The plain ice cream base is sent back to our creamery where it is flavored with our own unique recipes and then frozen and packaged by all UD student employees. Thanks Liz. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm currently the assistant manager here at the creamery. I'm going to show you what else goes into our delicious ice cream. So the base we receive from High Point is put into our ice cream machine. When we are ready to make our ice cream, we check out the recipe book to determine the correct amount of flavoring for our ice cream. When making chocolate flavors, we mix the base with cocoa powder, sugar, and chocolate syrup. The flavoring is then added afterwards with another bag of base. First, we turn on the rotating blades of our ice cream machine, which scrape the sides of the cylindrical barrel, and the blades run at 190 RPMs. The RPM control allows us to adjust how much air is incorporated into the ice cream. Our ice cream has 80% overrun, meaning for every gallon of liquid ice cream base, 
1.6 gallons of ice cream is produced. The freezer is then turned on to allow the ice cream base to freeze along the cylinder walls and then the blades constantly scrape the sides, blending the mixture, allowing it to become creamy in texture. After the ice cream is the right texture and temperature, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, we pull it from the machine and into containers. We add inclusions such as cookie dough and chocolate chunks and variegates such as fudge and raspberry jam to our flavors. We measure these ingredients for each batch and mix them in by hand. So once the consistency gets to a certain point and it, you don't want it to freeze anymore, you turn the refrigeration off and then you start pouring it to the boxes. And for this particular flavor, we have to add mixings. So um, once it's halfway in the box, we mix in we're mixing in pecan crazy right now, and then caramel. And then you just keep going until all the ice cream is gone. We then hand pack all of our pints, half gallons and two and a half gallons, with our delicious freshly made ice cream. Right after being packed, all containers go into our blast freezer to ensure our ice cream hardens to negative 30 degrees quickly as to not form large ice crystals. Ice cream stays in the blast freezer for 2 to 20 hours depending on size and then is moved to our storage freezer. In our storefront, we sell novelty items such as ice cream popsicles and ice cream cookie sandwiches. We have ice cream cakes pre-made or you can special order three days in advance. We also have merchandise such as shirts, hats, coffee cups, blue hen blankets, yarn from our UD sheep, and even this cute little cow. Behind the counter is where our student employees serve our delicious items. We carry over 30 flavors and rotate 8 to 10 flavors seasonally throughout the year. We also make root beer floats, milkshakes, homemade hot chocolate, espresso drinks, and our famous waffle cones. We're open year-round to satisfy those ice cream cravings, even in the winter months. In 2013, Eat Creamery partnered with the UD's Horn Program in Entrepreneurship to bring you the Moo Mobile. The Moo Mobile is a full-size ice cream truck that serves up to 20 flavors to all of UD campuses. Don't be surprised to see the Moo Mobile out and about at places like the Delaware State Fair, White Clay Creek Fest, the Rockwood Ice Cream Festival, other corporate events, alumni outings, and more. The ice cream truck also serves as a learning laboratory for entrepreneurial education. In select courses, UD students have the opportunity to operate the truck for a day to learn the ins and outs of running a small business. In addition to partnering with the Horn Program, in November of 2014, the UD Creamery partnered with the Department of Health Sciences and established a Go Baby Go Cafe. The concept for the cafe began with Cole Galloway, UD professor and researcher in the Department of Physical Therapy. He created Go Baby Co, which uses repurposed robotic toy cars that allow children with walking and crawling issues to move and play. Cole then adapted this concept into a harness system, allowing adults with limited mobility as a result of brain injury to rehabilitate into a real-world work setting. Galloway approached the Dairy Creamery to help develop the concept into an operating cafe to not only give patients real-life work therapy, but also provide meals and snacks to the Star Campus and surrounding community. The Go Baby Go Cafe is staffed by students and managed by the Udairy Creamery and is open to the public for breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday. The cafe serves grab and go items including bagels, muffins, coffee drinks, soups, salads, sandwiches, and of course Udairy Creamery ice cream. The cafe also offers a full catering menu and like the Udairy Creamery, the cafe is open year round. At the Udairy Creamery, we are working every day to teach our three yearly interns and over 40 student employees and supervisors the many aspects behind running this business, including marketing, food science, entrepreneurship, product development, and customer service. Every scoop of ice cream purchased goes directly back into the dairy farm and the teaching programs within the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. We hope you enjoy this quick cow to the cone tour and we hope to see you soon at the Udairy Creamery. Hi, my name is Lauren. I've worked at the Creamery since 2012, and my favorite flavor probably is mint chocolate chip. That's always my go-to. I end up taking that home every time. My name is Daniel. Uh, I've been working at the Creamery for about six months now, and recently I've become a supervisor, so my favorite part of working at the Creamery is going to be driving the giant Moo Mobile. Hi, my name is Megan Murray. I've been working here for a little over three and a half years. And my favorite part of this job is probably that in one job you get food production experience, customer service, and a little bit of business. Hi, my name is Chris Bazzoni. I've been working here for a little over a year now. And my favorite part about working at the Creamery is 
being able to come up with their own flavors and seeing it made into ice cream. My name is Brianna. I worked here for almost two years and it's just been so great watching this company grow and expand.